Hi everyone, AG Dolls Down Under here and welcome to my doll house tour for the first time I think since I lived at my parents house and had a doll room set up in my cupboard. This is the first time that I've shown off a doll house, not just a doll room. Um, so let me just show you my space. I have someone who's shouting. So if you hear a kitty cat in the video, that's the one. So starting off on the bottom floor of the doll house, I have the Our Generation lounge room set couch. If I just move Mona, I do have a table placemat on it as a blanket. Oh no! Do I have kitty cats all over my video? Oh my goodness. So this is the bottom floor of my dollhouse. I have a wood grain contact paper on the back wall because I like the kind of cabin look. I also haven't uh, changed the picture on the Our Generation TV yet. So hopefully I'll get that done soon as I'd love to put a screenshot of an Aspen Heights episode on it because that's very cute and exciting. Up on this shelf, I have a couple knickknacks, including a butterfly from our generation and a butterfly that I just found uh, on the floor and it's a beautiful color so I've preserved it in this little jar. I have a Care Bear, we have Iron Man, that's my partner's but he lives in here. I have some My Froggy Stuff tutorial doll books as well as two Beatrix Potter mini books that I've had since I was little. A couple little trinkets. The flowers is actually a stamp. I have a September birthstone dragon because my birthday's in September and a little Eiffel Tower keychain that uh, I think everyone had in 2016 for Grace Girl of the Year. I have Simba and Nala and some candles and a bucket. This is a very random assortment of things. I have our kitten, the Our Generation lounge room set couch with a table placemat as a couch runner and the fuzzy cushion it comes with. I have a cauldron at the corner because who doesn't have a cauldron in their lounge room? I have this rug that's also a placemat, it's from Daiso. And of course, Mona is here. Now I did keep the room dividers because I think it needed it for structural integrity of the house. So we're gonna move along to the kitchen. I have a tea set up at the top that I got a Christmas a while ago from a very close friend of mine as well as some items on the top shelf, kind of like an open pantry, including Vegemite and Milo. And of course, some Tim Tams, because I'm an Australian doll collector and my dolls need Australian food. We also have a hot chucky, or a cold chucky, something very yummy and tasty. Now, I also have the kitchen that came with this set, and both of these open. Let me just get Mona out of the way. So I treat this as a fridge. We have some champagne because my dolls are fancy, fresh produce, some freezer items, and some miscellaneous foods and snacks. Up the top here I have some more food items. Oop, I dropped some tea. And I have a lot of shoe polish up there. Not for people, for dolls. And then I have some other items down there, including some dog food from uh, Coles Mini Brands, which was a promotion done by an Australian shopping centre. Now, if you are curious, the tap does turn and the knobs turn as well. I have a skateboard and an umbrella in the corner because I have nowhere else to put them. And I'm just using the kitchen counter and chairs that came with this set. I don't use the table for this kitchen just because I don't really love it. It's not really my style. So instead of using the dining room chairs with that table, I use them in this space. Next up is a doll room that's not necessarily my style anymore, but this is what I would have wanted my room to look like when I was in the peak of collecting American Girl dolls. I have a bunch of plushies on the bed. I have some Pokemon, I have Kirby, I have Care Bears, I have some Pusheen, as well as a little whale shark. 
I have a little Vocaloid bag that's doll sized. It looks like her open mouth at the bottom there. Now the bed is just a doll box uh, because it makes a great doll bed. I have another Daiso shelf in the corner with some books, an American Girl magazine, and of course, I'm Australian, we gotta have some bluey. So I have a little mini bluey bag, I have this American Girl lunchbox, and then a bluey notebook that came in that bag. This lamp does work, perfect for late night reading, and someone's playing Pokemon Go, because I made that phone in probably like 2015, 2016. Now this is the only room in my dollhouse to have carpet. This is just carpet squares from Daiso. This blanket came with an American Girl fold-out bed. And this is also a placemat. I have a lot of placemats in this dollhouse. This art is just postcards that I got from a Korean beauty shop. I really love them. They're so cute. I think the pudding one's my favorite. And we have an Our Generation cat as well. And I have a bunch of knitted and crocheted blankies in the corner for when they get cold at night. Now my dolls are very stinky because I transformed the bathroom of this dollhouse into a study uh, because I wanted two bedrooms and no bathroom. I know, I'm crazy. My dolls are very stinky. I have this Our Generation gardening set. Piper's here to help show off the room. It has a green rug and this jewellery box. Oh, I killed a coconut. So this is just a jewellery box that I use as an ottoman for them to sit on because it actually perfectly matches an armchair ottoman that I have in my own house. I have an old Our Generation set laptop on the desk, a tea uh, cup that came with the teapot you saw in the kitchen. My favourite accessory of the dollhouse is my doll's axolotl. I got this axolotl from a friend at work a long time ago and this is a container that I got jelly beans in, so it made a perfect little axolotl tank. It's definitely not big f enough for an axolotl in real life, but here in the doll universe, we're going to ignore the cruelty to animals going on. Now I have some books, including Claudie's journal and Claudie's bag. I have coconut. I have a notebook in there, and then Claudie's uh, candy bar. If I move Piper out of the way. I have a yoga mat, a tripod, Gabriella's bag, and then the plant that came in the lounge. Now Raven is with me for the top floor of the dollhouse, which is just a very large bedroom. Now this bedroom doesn't really belong to any of my dolls. The room you saw before is Piper and Billy because they're best friends and they share that bedroom. Now this one is most likely of all my dolls in the dollhouse to be Sonali's or possibly Raven or Kimberly. I think a lot of my dolls would really enjoy this dollhouse, but for now, Raven is using it. Now, Raven's actually wearing a shirt from my great friend, Christiania, or I believe she's Sunflowers on AG here on YouTube. And I love this blouse, we're pen pals, and I love the things that Christiania has sent to me. This is one of my favorites. Now, I'll start over here with this nightstand. This is actually a jewellery box from the reject shop. These drawers are functional. I really love these little legs. I think it makes it look like a piece of furniture. On top I have some mini Dungeons and Dragons dice, or it could be used for any tabletop RPG, but my dolls play D&D. I have some crystals. This one has some mushrooms in it. I have Meet Rebecca and Meet Samantha to match mini Samantha and mini Rebecca. This quilt is actually an unfinished quilt pillowcase that I found at an op shop. I have, uh, this is a little chipmunk who I got in Canada when I went in 2015 and it belongs to Phoenix who came along with me on that trip. And I have a teddy bear. This piece of art is new for the dollhouse. I found this frame at the reject shop along with the nightstand and the ottoman from the previous room and I loved the bugs on the edge. So I quickly put together this uh, lunar moth that I drew to put on the wall. And I have, sorry Raven, on the shelf I have some artwork, a notebook, and a picture of Pollyanna, Pollyanna and Millicent from Christiania. I have a TV. I have some letters that Raven has gotten from her pen pal Pollyanna. I have a hanging plant, a bulletin board, 
and I'm West Australian, so I have a quokka from Rottnest Island. If you're unfamiliar with a quokka, it's a mammal that's constantly smiling. They're the cutest ever, and we only get them in our part of the world. So I love quokkas. I have this uh, jewelry box, which I got at an op shop. All of these are empty, but I thought it made a great like side table. I have the other of these placemats that you saw in the lounge room. This is a book chair, so you're supposed to lean your book on it as you read to save your hands. Makes a great doll bean bag. And then I have a comfy blanket so our dolls can watch TV getting all comfy and cozy. And that is my dollhouse. Thank you so much for watching this video if you got this far. It's so exciting to share this space with you. It's such a special part of my little house and doll world. I can't wait to show you more of this space as I decorate it further. But for now, I'm really happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.